Sudra and welcome to Ask Your Pharmacist. Today's video is in response to a question on my video on vitamin B12. Common question that I had on that video is about the difference between the two forms of vitamin B12. Which one is better, cyanocobalamin or methylcobalamin? So let's talk about the differences of those two forms. Firstly, what are they? They're both forms of vitamin B12. Cyanocobalamin is synthetic, while methylcobalamin is natural. But the body can convert synthetic form into natural form. So whichever form you take, eventually your body is going to convert uh, or use just the natural form, which I'm going to mention in a little bit that how the natural form is more effective compared to the synthetic form. But first, let's talk a little bit about vitamin B12. It's a water-soluble vitamin that is essential for functioning of the nervous system and the production of red blood cells and DNA synthesis. Vitamin B12 cannot be produced by the body and must be obtained through uh, diet or supplements. Uh, the deficiency of this vitamin can cause serious symptoms like fatigue, nerve damage, uh, digestive issues, and also neurological problems like depression and memory loss. So this is very, very crucial, uh, but often vitamin B12 deficiency is overlooked because it's not a very common vitamin. You know? uh, when we talk about um, or when we think about vitamin deficiency, we often talk about just iron, calcium, vitamin because those are more common uh, vitamins that are known and more common deficiencies, right? But vitamin B12 is such a crucial vitamin, but the deficiency um, is not really well noticed. So it's always important that when you go for your annual you know, health checkup, make sure that your doctor runs the lab work for all of the vitamins. That way you can ensure that you don't have deficiency of this crucial vitamin. Now I have talked in detail about the symptoms uh, that uh, are related with the vitamin B12 deficiency and also how this vitamin is important for your body. That's going to be super detailed if I, if I talk about it in this video. So just go check out my other video. I'll put the link of that video in the description. Uh, but here in this video, mainly we're going to talk about the differences of the two forms of vitamin B12, um, cyanocobalamin and methylcobalamin, uh, because both of these forms can be sold in market. So we're going to discuss which one is better, which one should you buy, and if there is any difference at all. Now, both of these forms are nearly identical. I want to say methylcobalamin has a methyl group, which is just a carbon and hydrogen, while cyanocobalamin contains a cyanide molecule. Now, if you've heard of cyanide before, cyanide is associated with some poisonous material, which yes, cyanide is a poison. Although the amount of cyanide in the normal vitamin B12 supplement is too small to be harmful, so it's not like that you're taking vitamin B12 in the cyanocobalamin form and that's going to be harmful for your body because your body is anyway going to convert the cyanocobalamin into the active form which is the methylcobalamin because the cyano compound in itself is no use to body what happens is your body converts the cyanocobalamin you take into methylcobalamin as soon as possible because the methyl compound is mainly the compound that the human body needs to function properly the cyanocobalamin itself is of no use to body because the body cannot process it, the body cannot really use it to provide the vitamin B12 benefit. So the cyanocobalamin has to be converted into the methylcobalamin. So either you take the inactive form or the active form, or I want to say either you take the synthetic form, which is the cyanocobalamin, or the methylcobalamin, which is the active form. It doesn't matter because either way, the cyanocobalamin is going to be converted into the methylcobalamin. Now, here's the thing, cyanocobalamin is most commonly supplemented form of vitamin B12 and is chemically synthesized and you will see it more readily available in the market. It's because it's cheaper. Methylcobalamin is found in animal-based foods and is, you know, obviously naturally occurring. It's rapidly gaining popularity now over the cyanocobalamin because 
a lot of the people are kind of getting awareness of the cyanide component of cyanocobalamin and they tend to just not take that harmful compound which like I said is not really harmful but the benefit of taking the methylcobalamin would be that um, your body would not need to convert it into the active form since it's already in the active form so it's going to be more readily absorbed in the body compared to the other form also research has shown that it remains in the body for a longer period of time and at higher level or higher concentration compared to the cyanocobalamin which means that your body is supplied with the vitamin b12 for a longer period if you use the active form which is the methylcobalamin compared to the inactive form and you're gonna have uh, longer um, benefits or the duration of the effect of the uh, methylcobalamin would be longer in the body compared to the other form. Now because the methylcobalamin is naturally occurring, uh, it can be obtained from supplements as well as food sources. So you want to increase the intake of fish, meat, eggs and milk because all of these sources have the active form of vitamin B12. One of the reasons why uh, cyanocobalamin form is more readily available in the market or readily used compared to the other form is because it's cheaper. Um, you will need the higher doses of it though compared to the methylcobalamin. Because methylcobalamin is actually a free form of vitamin B12, it's already in active form that the body can use. This means it does not require any conversion by the body and therefore is more easily absorbed and utilized. For this reason, this form of vitamin B12 is typically more expensive compared to the other form. Now, another major difference between the two kinds is their stability. Cyanocobalamin is more stable and has longer shelf life compared to the methylcobalamin. However, the methylcobalamin is more easily absorbed and utilized by the body, uh, making it a preferred choice for those who may not uh, you know, want to uh, take the cyanide form and also who have difficulty absorbing the vitamin B12. In summary, I would say both forms of vitamin B12 um, offer equal benefits, but understanding the difference between the two types or forms is important because it can help you make an informed decision about which one you want to choose based on your individual needs. As always, just be sure to speak with your healthcare provider or pharmacist before starting any supplement uh, because you want to uh, make sure that the supplements that you're taking are not interacting with the food or the medications that you're taking because often um, other medications can either increase or decrease the absorption of these um, supplements that you're taking. There could be an interaction. Uh, so also another thing is that when you are taking the supplement, you don't take it just forever. You always want to take it for a um, couple of months and then uh, stop and then restart it uh, based on how the supplement is affected. Uh, if you are having any benefits from the supplement, then keep taking it. But definitely make a plan with your pharmacist or doctor um, on how to stop it because not just the concern about the deficiency of the vitamins, but there is a concern of overuse of vitamins as well because. Um, everything in moderation is important. Overuse of anything could be bad. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Hey guys, if you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and remember to subscribe to stay up to date on new weekly videos.